Okay, today guys, we are going to be testing hoarding these new Critical Duty 40 Smith & Wesson 175 grain flex lock. This bullet is our new line. It's going to be used for police and it uses the flex lock bullet technology. It's like the Critical Duty. It does have an interlocking band. It's not a bonded bullet, but it does down in there once I fired, I should be able to show you guys this interlocking band that crimps around the lead core. So this keeps it from separating and these, from what Hordendy is showing on their website, perform very, very well through all of the FBI testing and that goes through wallboard, plywood, windshields, everything. So today, we're going to test this through four layers of denim and the calibrated ballistics gel. So let's see how this new Hordendy line works. All right, let's shoot the new Hordendy line into some calibrated gel, four layers of denim. Test weapons, the Glock 2340. Let's check her out. All right. Let's go check out what just happened. As you can see, my point of entry is a little lower than I wanted, but still centering the block. You can see we, we track on down here. It's hard to see. I'll have to cut this wound channel open for you guys. Goes into the second block, and there she rests. So let me get that out of there so you guys can look at it. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I got the critical duty out of the gel. Leading edge, 15 and a half inches. And look at that expansion. That's just perfect. Just perfect, exactly the way they advertised it. The polymer stip still in the gel. I still have to dig that out for you guys. But the 175 grain, critical duty, 40 Smith & Wesson. Product number as you see there is 91376. Performs exactly the way they advertise it. This is gonna be a very, very popular round. Might even be something I'd be interested in carrying myself. Look at the look at the expansion. You guys will see better close-ups of that here in a minute. 15 and a half penetration. Just perfect penetration. Very mild recoil. Shooting during the day, so I don't know about the flash, but we'll shoot some of these at night and get these on tape too. So 15 and a half, critical duty, 40 Smith and Wesson, 175 grain flex lock. Okay guys, here we are. We're at the post of the Critical Duty 40 Smith & Wesson 175 grain flex lock round. It's their new round this year. It is for military and police, that's what they made it for. And they made it for this to pass through all of the FBI test perfectly. Wallboard, wood, denim, heavy clothing, the whole nine yards. This round is replacing the critical defense round. It's not replacing, it is in addition to the critical defense round. And this is going to be marketed for military police for the ability to go through all the different structures and still penetrate up to 15 to 18 inches of gel. As you guys seen today, this round performed perfect. 15 and a half inches penetration. Expansion was awesome. 0.547. Look at that. Just a perfect round. Almost looks like the critical defenses. You can see slight differences in the way it mushrooms back. But still a very, very good round. This round does not disappoint. This round is going to be very, very popular in their line. You can just tell. Low recoil, once again, I don't know about the flash, we'll test that later, maybe in a night shoot or something. But the critical duty, I like it a lot. This round, this round was nice. I mean, it won in, I didn't get, uh, I had some problems with the, the wound track, so I didn't get to get that on film. But it pretty much almost exactly the same as the critical defense. It goes in, dumps a lot of denim, and then it tracks on down. Now these don't get all wicked and massive on some of the expansion, but it's very uniform. Peels back just perfect. This is a very good round. Now I was talking to you guys earlier about that, the way that the interlock works. This band right here, 
Get that in the light. That band is crimped down onto the lead. This isn't bonded. And there's a special crimp that they use to keep the, the lead core from separating. It's not bonded. And it works very well because there is no hint whatsoever of core jacket, jacket separation at all on this round. So, I mean, it was just very, very, very good test. I mean, weight retention, 174.4. I can talk here. 174.4. I'll throw a PIP in there. It's a 175 grain flex lock round, just like the critical defense, but they changed it up a little bit. This is a very good round. The interlocking band, good round. Product number is 91376. I say this is a must have for people that really like to test rounds or really want a good round that's been proven. We fired four of these today into the gel. This is the one we fired into the calibrated gel. We fired some in the water, stuff like that. Every one of them looks just like this. We didn't go through any wall board or, or lumber yet. We're, we're thinking about doing that in later on tests. But once again, critical duty. It outdid itself. Very good round.